Ladies and gentlemen, quite possibly one of the largest leaks of this year so far for Call of Duty Black Ops 5 has been announced. Not really a leak because Treyarch themselves has tweeted it out. Let's check it out here. Jason Blundell has officially left Treyarch Studios. Now, I know this is a really weird thing to talk about now, considering that we had this whole video discussion on how he left, but let's just read this all together. After 13 fantastic, action-packed years, I'm moving on from Treyarch, which is unbelievable blundell we i i i have so many countless thanks especially just for me to say to you and i've said them in my other video when we thought you had left but now it's more of like he's moving on but let's continue during my time at the studio i've been privileged to work on a variety of projects including some of the old spider-man movies which is really crazy like the spider-man movie games as well uh wearing many hats along the way okay that's that's a little mod with my time on the zombies team proving to be quite special of course this is where definitely he came to shine it's a team compromised of some of the most creative and talented developers in the industry many of whom you never see because they're behind the scenes shaping the direction of each experience and i think this is so true because we don't really even realize what treyarch has done in terms of their actual impact into the gaming community and i think over these past decades really that the company has been around they have done an incredible job and i see all my fellow youtubers here this is some of the most wild information we've got to see and now that it has been officially confirmed it's been weird because people are wondering like did they have this planned all along was this something that he was deciding to figure out when he was already supposedly fired i don't know there's a lot of questions still clearly i'd be remiss if i didn't personally thank the group that continues to make it all worth it the zombies community we love you blundell i hope whatever you do in the future does pay off your passion enthusiasm and frankly your craziness yeah we're fucking crazy <laughs> has been a continued source of inspiration and it, we are absolutely one of the most wild communities. I think JC just tweeted this out. There has never been a community, especially in gaming, in my opinion, that has been as creative as the Zombies community. Uh, the beauty of Zombies is that it has always been about the interaction between us as developers and one of the most passionate player communities on the planet. Like I said, guys, I don't think there is a gaming community that has ever occurred like the Zombies community. We've had incredible events. Like, like I was about to say Zombie Weapon comparison bro <laughs> zwc we've had incredible ones like ee4c there's so many insider jokes from all of the people within this community that it is unbelievable that something like this has happened um let's continue reading here the beauty of zombies that has always been about the interaction between us as developers and one of the most passionate player communities on the planet and like i've said i just read that but wow it really goes to show that there has never been in my opinion a game like zombies where the developer to gamer interaction has been so close and i think we really have to give treyarch some due effort for that these are memories i will cherish for a lifetime me as well jason blundell the countless of memories i've had with this community have been unbelievable the team at treyarch has been nothing short of awesome thank you treyarch has done incredible jobs as well you guys on bo4 did such like so much work these devs are really truly the guys that want this game to shine so boys when we think about black ops 5 what are we gonna think we're gonna think positive right i'm i don't want to be as negative as i was in bo4 and like listen even if the next game is going to be bad i'm going to enjoy it i'm going to give my all because you know what treyarch is giving them all and that is what inspires me to give it their all and thank you to the fans for giving me the opportunity to bring life to the undead in so many wonderful ways the honor has has been all mine and wow Treyarch has really gone through a massive switch up in these past couple of months really with in terms of who's been there and what's been going on and Blundell wherever you go hopefully your passion is still gaming I don't know if that is still the case but if it is you personally I've already said this on many videos of mine have influenced my life in countless of ways jason you have literally made me take the university degree i've been in you've inspired me to create more videos we've had a life-to-life -life talk jason blundell and i and this man is incredibly special so wherever you go blundell wherever whatever life takes you please know that we are supporting you no matter what and that your name is going to ring true still amongst many fans regardless of what we think about black ops 4 regardless of what everybody thinks bundell has been an absolute character and has been one of my favorite developers for zombies 
at all in all time really and this really brings up the question now as to what is going to really happen now with the community because who is the next leader for zombies now there's a couple options that i want to discuss with you guys initially the first option that we could talk about for the replacement of bundle i guess is a there actually could just be no replacement there that is such an option zombies because zombies is now potentially not even for the next game here because Blundell has left, there literally could be no Zombies team and that is always an option we have to consider. But now, let's go more into the realistic side. I think the next leader for all of Treyarch Zombies right here has to be, now hear me out here, I believe it has to be Lee Ross. And the reason why I think this is because he was brought into Black Ops 4 for the development of just everything, I guess. He did so much. You could see his name in the credits. It was an incredible time to see him because I still believe that Infinite Warfare to this day has some of the most solid zombie mechanics we have ever seen. And if Lee Ross becomes the head of that for a Treyarch game, I think we are going to be excited for what we're going to be seeing for these next coming zombies games. And I'm I'm truly ecstatic to know that hopefully Lee Ross can push himself and can really show the community how he is. Because man, listen, IW might not have been your cup of tea, but the way that he brought his passion onto that project is one of my favorite parts. And I just cannot believe that something like this has happened. Blundell, again, we love you so much. You have done an incredible job for this community in terms of communication in terms of even the influencer communication and i know influencers now are really cancerous but even back then we were always cancerous i'm a cancer okay we have all been cancer to treyarch and they have de dealt with us and diagnosed us completely well <laughs> you know what i mean like that is just hilarious and like treyarch we expire you we hope you continue to make great products for zombies i know there was a lot of mishaps and I can't believe that really they've actually gone out to make a whole public statement like this. Like the fact that Blundell was so world renowned even to get a statement from the gaming studio itself really shows how much of an impact he is has and he is and has had on the community because you know I know a lot of people are thinking, oh my god, what's going to happen? Blundell is gone. What are we going to do? But listen, it's ex literally written in here. Every single developer in the industry has shaped the experience. When we take one wedge out, of course there's going to be a massive difference. But hey, there's going to be so many new development. There's going to be so many new developers as well for this next game that we are going to be seeing an, a myriad of multiple new things. And I am exceedingly excited for Treyarch has uh, going on right now. Obviously, with this, this is really, I think, one of the biggest starts for Black Ops 5 as a tease. We are going to be seeing something new. We are going to be seeing something revolutionary. And I think we are going to be incredibly excited. Whether if it's no zombies. Whether if it is zombies. Whether if it's Lee Ross at the front. It doesn't matter. Because I think what we know now. Is that we are going to be pushing for something. And I think Treyarch's statement with this. Is like hey guys. We have wanted to bring out a statement from Blundell. Obviously we want him to keep going forward. Obviously with what he's done. And all the opportunities for Treyarch. But now we can push forward. And I want to see Treyarch what goes on now I know the studio is completely different now and they've got all these different new faces let's see what we've got let's see what we can do and you know what sure we had our great times sure we met a bunch of great people along the way but what can we do to progress forward now and you know what I think for Treyarch for doing this and for being disrespectful shows or not disrespectful but respectful shows a massive level of just maturity in my opinion as a company to give out this uh, information publicly on top of just being who they are and really sh echoing the personalities behind the development and behind who is actually gaming Treyarch, you've done an amazing job. I 
I'm just shocked, honestly, when this popped up on my timeline. I could not believe it. I'm very interested in what all my other friends and zombie YouTubers have to say about this. Please leave your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below for what you believe Treyarch has done. Is this a good move? Is this a bad move? What do you guys think? I think, listen, I think this is a progressive move, but I don't want to pin Blundell and say, you know what, he was the problem here. He was the problem here. That's not what I'm wanting to, wanting to say. Because you know what? We live such a short time. We have to acknowledge everybody for their feet for their achievements and for what they can do and you know what Blundell your story is not over yet you still have a timeline to write somewhere and I'm very excited to see where it goes Blundell I think now is your perfect time to make a Twitter account come out come out for everybody let me follow you I don't want to follow some fake account you can <laughs> come out show us where you are now <laughs> you're safe okay but anyways I think that is going to be it for the video, guys. I did hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Blundell, I hope you're watching. We love you. Hope for the best. I want to know what's going on. And even see, like, maybe there will be homages to you and zombies now. Maybe somebody's going to put you in. We love you, man. I hope everything goes well. Um, I would not be worried about this next game, guys. I would only consider it as an exciting factor for what we're going to be seeing in the future. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one.